Today on Cruise Man's Garage, I'm installing this Honda luggage rack from CycleMax.com onto a 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour. Before installing the luggage rack, realize it could take three to five hours to complete, so please be patient and don't get in a hurry. A link to the Honda installation instructions can be found in the description of this video. It's highly advised that you follow these instructions carefully. To install the luggage rack, we have to remove all of these parts from the Goldwing first. Now, in this video, we're going to give you kind of an abbreviated version of how to do all these things. However, if you'd like a more in-depth, step-by-step, detailed instructions on how to perform all of these tasks, check out our 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing videos using the link on the screen or in the description below. Place your Goldwing on the center stand. Remove the side panels on the left and right hand side of the motorcycle. With the side panels removed, you can now remove the seat and set it off to the side. Use a 12 mm socket to remove the two bolts that hold on each of the passenger grab rails. Make sure when you remove the bolts that you're holding the grab rail so that it doesn't fall and hit your saddlebag. Inside the trunk, remove the two Phillips screws that hold the front trunk lower panel in place and remove this panel. Now we're ready to remove the passenger backrest. On the inside of the trunk lid, you'll see six screws, three on each side, that hold the passenger backrest in place. We need to remove all six of these screws. Now you'll notice that the two screws at the top of this picture are longer than the other screws. Make a note of this because you want to make sure you put the correct length screw in the proper location. There's also a single screw on each passenger armrest as shown here. We need to remove both of these from the left and right side. With the screws removed, the passenger backrest will come loose, but there is an electrical connector that must be released before we can remove the backrest. Press this tab here to release the connector. Locate the three body clips on the right side of the trunk floor and remove these by pressing down in the center of the clip and then pulling up with your fingernail. You'll notice the one toward the front is longer than the other two. Now remove the three Phillips screws on the right hand side of the inner trunk liner. You'll find two more Phillips screws underneath the trunk hinge area as shown. These both need to be removed. Now you'll notice these are longer screws, so make a note of that. Make sure you put the longer screws back in the correct place on reassembly. Now you should be able to carefully remove the right hand side trunk panel. You'll have to work it around that hinge and just carefully remove it as shown. On the left side trunk hinge, you'll notice a wire harness is connected with a clip. We need to remove that and also remove this clip so that the harness can be pulled free from the trunk lid. There are six 5 mm socket bolts that hold the trunk lid to the hinge. These must all be removed. Using a 5 mm Allen wrench, remove these bolts. It's a good idea to leave one bolt on the first side that you remove to hold the trunk lid in place if you're doing this by yourself, so that you can hold on to the trunk lid as you remove the last two bolts. To protect the painted surface of your trunk lid, use a soft surface like a towel, like I'm using here. I also have a small piece of 2x4 wrapped with a microfiber cloth so that you can keep these little tabs off of the surface. You don't want these to break off. 
The inner trunk liner is held in place with these seven Phillips screws, as well as four screws that hold the trunk striker rods in place. All of these must be removed before we can remove the inner liner. Go ahead and remove all of these screws. Take note when you remove the striker rods, the angle at which the striker rods must be placed when they are reinstalled. The inner liner can be removed by starting to release the tabs from the front of the trunk and move your way toward the rear of the trunk liner. Locate the two raised markers at the rear of the top of the inner liner of the trunk lid. We're going to drill two holes here. There are two additional markers recessed into the underside of the trunk liner where two more holes must be drilled. Here you can see I'm using a step bit to drill the holes in these marked positions. Now, these holes must be 10 millimeters and they should be in the center of those marks. Here's how the trunk liner should look after the holes have been drilled. There are two additional 10 millimeter holes that must be drilled into the inner trunk liner shown here. These are kind of on the outside toward the front of the trunk liner. This is how the liner should look after those two holes have been drilled. Refer to the instruction sheet to carefully mount the upper and lower brackets per the instructions. Here you can see I'm tightening uh, one of the bolts to mount these and once they're mounted from the underside of the lid, this is how they should look. Locate the four marks on the underside of your trunk lid like the one shown here. These are where we're going to be drilling four 19 millimeter holes for the posts that hold up the luggage rack. Here I'm using a small drill bit just to drill a pilot hole in the center of each of these uh, kind of to use as a guide for my larger step bit. Now here I'm using a step bit to drill my 19 millimeter hole in the trunk lid. You want to make sure that you have an open space underneath so that your drill bit doesn't go down into your work table or something like that. Uh, the key here is to take your time, go very slow. The plastic will drill fairly easily with one of these step bits, and I stop periodically to measure the hole because I know it needs to be 19 millimeters in diameter. But uh, you can also use a drill bit that goes to three quarters of an inch because that's almost exactly 19 millimeters. With the holes drilled, you can now install the rubber grommets that come in the kit for the luggage rack legs and I like to start on the top and I put a little bit of dishwashing soap around the edge of the grommet. It helps it go in a lot easier. Refer to your Honda instructions for the proper orientation of the grommets. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean the area over those uh, front holes we drilled on the top of the liner as shown. Place the washer with the collar in that opening as shown and then use some masking tape to hold that washer in place. To reinstall the inner liner, start at an angle and start toward the back. You want to make sure you get those back uh, little bosses that go through the screw holes in place. Make sure those little bosses are flush with the screw holes as shown here, and then you know you have it snapped into place correctly. Reinstall the striker rods with the angle facing toward the back of the trunk, and then reinstall the screws that hold the striker rods in place. Once you have the striker rods reinstalled, you can reinstall the seven screws that hold the inner trunk liner in place. Now you can position the luggage rack posts inside those rubber grommets. Just take your time and uh, make sure they line up correctly. Now you'll notice I'm also installing a Pathfinder LED trunk light. So you have to make sure those, those rear posts fit down through the holes in the trunk light if you're mounting a trunk light. Take your time, make sure that they go down in there, and then we can flip the lid over and install the mounting bolts. Here I'm putting the rubber washer in around that collar. These are on the forward mounting posts from underneath uh, the trunk lid liner. And then you install the bolt 
with the uh, large kind of fender washer attached to it and screw it down into the post and tighten. Use the last two remaining bolts to screw into the rear posts as shown. Install the two rubber protector pads on the top of the luggage rack. Remove this rubber hinge flap near the hinge area on the bike. There are four 5mm bolts that hold the hinge in place. Remove all four of these bolts on both hinges and remove the hinges from the bike. Now we need to install the new stronger dampers that come in your kit. To do this we must remove the trunk hinges. We can separate the two halves of the hinge by removing this pin. Begin by first removing the little cotter pin and then the pin will come free. Now repeat the process by removing the pins that hold the damper in place on each end as shown here. Install the new dampers in place of the old ones and make sure to replace the washer and cotter pin when reinstalling the pins. Now you can reinstall your updated hinges on the motorcycle by replacing the four 5mm bolts that hold it in place. This completes our installation of the Honda luggage rack. Of course you have to reinstall all of the parts shown above in the order shown. Now, if you'd like more detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do these various tasks, check out our 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing Maintenance videos using the link on the screen or in the description below.